welcome back to my channel Oshale here and this is Oshi Reads and in today's video I want to share with you my book of the month box so as a Christmas gift to myself I gifted myself a year subscription although it's paid monthly of book of the month and that is one of those book subscription boxes book club type things where you basically sign up and they give you options. I think it's like five books to choose from. I'm not 100% sure. It might be less than five. And then you pick the book for the month that you want them to send you. And then every other book on the site is at a discounted rate of $9.99. And the other books that they are selling for $9.99 are basically books that they've offered in previous months. And so you have a nice little selection to choose from and I believe it's $14.99 a month and yeah I'm loving it so far I think <laughs> I haven't actually like opened this yet I saved this for you guys so this is my book of the month box unboxing here it is I've been holding on to this for over a week now so I could film this video so I'm super excited it's upside down there we go I'm super excited to see what's in here well I know what's in here but you know I've got my handy dandy scissors. I have no idea what the proper way to open this is. Pardon me. I didn't do a very nice neat job of opening up this box, but oh well, it's what's inside that counts. But speaking of the packaging, it is quite attractive. It's this blue box, it's super cute. It says book of the month right here and book of the month right here. And their Instagram handle is on the other side. Ah, uh, the age of social media. And on the side that's all destroyed, it says Book of the Month as well. And for my very first Book of the Month unboxing, I went ahead and chose my January book, and then I took advantage of the $9.99 selections. So here they are. They are wrapped and nicely packaged. There is a cardboard stock. It just says, Oshale's B-O-T-M, Book of the Month box my address and then it lists the three books that are included here on the bottom i'm just covering my address on the bottom is a quote book of the month is better with friends invite your friends and get your extra books for free visit the account section on the site for more details hmm maybe i'll leave a link down below for you guys if you want to join opening it up opening it up opening it up oh so exciting oh, i love books don't you so right on top I have a nice little book of the month bookmark, so that was kind of them. I also have this. It says, drum roll please, reading the back, our members voted and results are in. We're thrilled to announce 2017's book of the year, and this is The Heart's Invisible Furies by John Boyne. This sweeping heartfelt novel is well worth the read. You'll laugh, you'll cry, you'll feel, hashtag all the feels. See what the hype is about. Add this book as well as one of our four other book of the year finalists to your next box. So maybe they give you four books to choose from, but anyways, there's four book of the year finalists. This one won. So if you want to take advantage of the $9.99 price, it's, hey, it's a darn good deal. The first one right on top of the pile is my January pick for book of the month and this is As Bright As Bright as Heaven by Suzanne Messner. It has the book of the month logo in the corner and on the back it says I heart January 2018 heart with their logo embalmed inside embalmed embossed embalmed creepy this is the book Spine, once again with the Book of the Month logo. From the darkest hours rises life in all its glory. In 1918, Philadelphia is a city teeming with promise. Even as its young men go off to fight in the Great War, there are opportunities for a fresh start on its cobblestone streets. Into this bustling town come Pauline Bright and her husband, filled with the hope that they could now give their three daughters, Evelyn, Maggie, and Willa, a chance at a better life. Their dreams are short-lived. Just months after they arrive, the Spanish flu reaches the shores of North America. As the pandemic claims more than 12,000 victims in their adopted city, Pauline and her family find themselves in a world that looks nothing like the one they knew. But even as they lose loved ones, they take in a baby orphaned by the disease who becomes their single source of hope. 
Amidst the tragedy and challenges that surround them, they learn what they cannot live without and what they are willing to do about it. As Bright as Heaven is the compelling story of a mother and her daughters who find themselves in a harsh world not of their making that will either crush their resolve to survive or purify it. Wow, this seems pretty freaking epic. I looked up some of the Goodreads reviews and things are looking good so far people. I'm excited. The next two books I said I picked up to take advantage of the $9.99 price and they were former selections in past months of 2017. The first one is And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie. I read an abridged children's version of this book way back when in elementary school when I was in about fifth grade and I never read the full and I never read the full length novel so that's why I picked this up. Plus I really love this cover. It's very sinister. I love it. I don't 100% remember the synopsis of this novel but basically it's a novel where I believe all these strangers arrive on an island. I don't know if there's a party or a retreat or something's going on but basically they all, they all start to get killed off one by one and it's a murder mystery of sorts. So I'm so excited to finally read the full length version of this novel and basically get all the nitty gritty little details that were missing in that children's abridged version that I read back as a kid. But even that abridged version was absolutely riveting so I can only imagine how much more the full length novel will be. Also I've always wanted to read an Agatha Christie novel like for reals. People say she's brilliant and I can't wait to find out for myself. And last to show you I have The City of Brass by S.A. Chakraborty. I think that's how you pronounce this author's name. And this was the selection for December I believe and I was so close, so 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 close. I actually started the book of the month in December but I missed selecting this book by mere days which <sighs> but it's okay. So I decided to take advantage of the $9.99 price and purchase this one as well. And I did look up the Goodreads reviews for this book and they are so good. Glowing reviews. Now this is a fantasy I believe so I will read the dust jacket. Nari has never believed in magic. Certainly she has power. On the streets of 18th century Cairo she's a con woman of surpassed talent. But she knows better than anyone that the trades she uses to get by, palm readings, czars and a mysterious gift for healing are all tricks, both the means to the delightful end of swindling Ottoman nobles and a reliable way to survive. But when Nari accidentally summons Dara, an equally sly, darkly mysterious Dinjin warrior to her side during one of her cons, she's forced to reconsider her beliefs, for Dara tells Nari an extraordinary tale across hot windswept sands teeming with creatures of fire and rivers where the mythical marids sleep, past ruins of once magnificent human metropolises and mountains where the circling birds of prey are more than what they seem, lies Devabad, the legendary city of brass, a city to which Nari is irrevocably bound. In Devabad, within gilded brass walls laced with enchantments and behind the six gates of the six Dinjin tribes, old resentments run deep. And when Nari decides to enter this world, her arrival threatens to ignite a war that has been simmering for centuries. Spurning Dara's warning of the treachery surrounding her, she embarks on a hesitant friendship with Alziad, an idealistic prince who dreams of revolutionizing his father's corrupt regime. All too soon, Nari learns that true power is fierce and brutal, that magic cannot shield her from the dangerous web of court politics that even the cleverest of schemes can have deadly consequences. After all, there is a reason they say to be careful what you wish for. Wow, this sounds like a fantastical, just magical read. It's giving me Aladdin vibes. It's giving me all the feels. I cannot wait to get into this. Plus, it's freaking huge, so it's a little intimidating to say the least. Goodness, holy God, it's 530 pages. What? I say Chakra Bordy is pretty. Hey girl. Suzanne. She looks so nice. Agatha mysterious as hell. She ain't got no picture. So there you have it. The three novels I received in January's book of the month box. I will see you guys in February. I can't promise you that I will take advantage of the $9.99 pricing in February as well. But I will at least have one book to show you and I'll either throw it into 
my February book haul if it's just one book, but if I purchase more than one, I will make sure to do another unboxing for you all. Thumbs up this video if you love videos like these. Let me know what you think of book subscription boxes. <laughs> book subscription boxes and I will put my link down below if I do have one or if I can somehow offer you guys or I'll just put the website down below and you can go check it out for yourselves. Video, ta-ta! Bye guys! Mwah. Bye! And see like what's already on there and what's not. So I kind of hope that I don't have this already but if I do I guess I'll have two copies and maybe I'll give this one away. The more I look at the cover, the more I'm pretty sure I already own this. Book buying problems, y'all. Next, I have A Conjuring of Light by V.E. Schwab. This is the Darker Shades of Magic series that I haven't even started reading, but apparently I'm just collecting them now, so...